Hi, welcome back to another video. Um, I know, same again. Uh, I'm back in York. I'm at Roundtree Park Caravan and Motorhome Club site uh, for two nights uh, on this trip. I know it was only about May that I was last here. Uh, I arrived then in pouring rain, grey skies and cold and I've arrived today in pouring rain, grey skies and cold in, uh, in July. In fact it's even a little bit colder today um, than it was back in May. Uh, a little bit later setting off and arriving um, today. Uh, I didn't finish uh, work till about quarter to three this morning. Um, one of my interests is uh, a small real ale uh, pub in Halifax that I co-own with uh, a friend of mine uh, but the manager was having a well-earned holiday this week so I was stepping in uh, and running the place full-time uh, and we were blessed last night with a birthday party that came in a big group of people uh, on an otherwise quite quiet Saturday night so that was great but it did mean a late finish lots of tidying up uh, and all the jobs that I needed to do this morning were pushed back by a couple of hours uh, if pubs and beer and real ale, that kind of thing, are, um, are, are of interest, then I have been making some videos this week, as well as some earlier ones, which are on the pub's own YouTube channel. So if you are interested, do check out uh, Big Six In on YouTube. Just heading out into York, a uh, bit of a slow start this morning. A uh, little bit of a, not a hangover, but a little bit of uh, after effects from uh, watching the uh, football last night. Uh, watched in the Slip Inn, which is a lovely real ale pub just around the corner from uh, Roundtree Park. So I'm going to head for a wander through York, a bit confused with this yellow thing that's uh, in the sky. So it's a lovely day so far. scaffolding on uh, I think it's had some quite extensive renovations uh, might be worth a visit it a day there um, for Loco Shed 1977 um, I'm not going to complain about the heat but it is a bit hot to be stood out there when you're a bit tired a bit dehydrated and feeling the uh, after effects of a couple of pints last night so uh, I've not been to the railway museum for a long time so I'm taking the uh, Path, direct path from the station uh, over to the railway museum. I'm going to have a little wander around there for a bit. Not been there for ages.
I've never seen it as quiet in here. Uh, I mean, it is a Monday. Uh, it's not school holidays. Um, so yeah, very, very quiet, but it looks like uh, a big chunk of it isn't open. There's an awful lot of uh, new building work going on by the looks of it. Um, so from what I can see at the minute, it's just the uh, original um, original exhibition hall that's open, but some fabulous exhibits nonetheless. Uh, just having a quick sit down opposite. Um, evening star over in the corner. Uh, and a lovely uh, coronation class streamliner behind me. Um, so I'm going to have another wander around the rest of the exhibits and then decide what I'm doing next. bought a couple of little bits from the shop just to uh, show some support. Uh, yeah, it turns out the other hall has been closed for about a year and a half now. So it has been a long time since I've been here. Um, so it's a, it's a reduced exhibition, um, but it is still free. Uh, and there are still some uh, great exhibits to, uh, to have a look at. And it's especially good when it's this quiet. three exhibits here that I have actually been on. I have been on those old bullet trains, the original ones, been on the Eurostar and I do remember these Intercity 125s as they were called in the uh, blue and yellow colours. Uh, sadly no longer going up and down the uh, East Coast main line. couldn't resist a visit to the uh, modern railway before I left. Uh, that has been there in one form or another for, for years and years and years. Um, it's, it's what they call O gauge, so it's the, the, the larger models. Um, now when I was a, a kid, me and my dad had a, a double O gauge set. It wasn't a desperately uncommon hobby in the, in the 70s. Um, but looking at the price of the models in the, in the, uh, store, in the shop here, it's just astonishing, £240 just for a locomotive, never mind the, uh, the, the things to pull it. So a, a loco and three, four, five coaches to pull along, you're talking it's supposed to be about £600. Um, it's clearly a, a hobby these days for, the, um, for, for, those with, uh, for those with plenty of brass, couldn't believe it. Um, Right, I think that is me done in here. I've had a bit of a sit down. Uh, it's a lot cooler in here than it was outside. So um, I finished at the station, finished in here. So I think it's time for a wander into York. York me. Um, great. It's such a beautiful city, especially on a nice sort of warm summery afternoon. We've not had too many of those recently. Uh, one of the other things I like about York is it has some great pubs uh, and it's getting to that stage in the afternoon uh, where I think a hair of the dog is necessary after uh, having a few last night watching uh, England Spain. So I'm going to meander back to the campsite and uh, call in a few of my favourite spots in York. 